Well, we're entering a very important time of year, lutefisk season. And this week's Finding Minnesota, WCCO's John Lortzen got a tour of one of the last remaining lutefisk processing plants in the country during their busiest time of year. Going back to the days of the Vikings, it was their way of traveling, and it was also a commonly traded product. At Olson Fish Company in Minneapolis, the smell of dried cod is the smell of money, even if it takes some getting used to. If you want to play a joke on somebody and smell up their office, you hide one of these in it. If you took this home and you put it in your closet, within an hour or so, everybody's going to be like, what's that smell? I don't plan on doing that, but take it from somebody who's been around this fish most of his life. Chris Dorf began working at Olsen 26 years ago. The company itself was founded by Norwegian immigrants in 1910. Using old world traditions and recipes and, and to this day those are still really our main two products that we make is pickled herring and lutefisk. They process 2 million pounds of herring a year and up to 450,000 pounds of lutefisk. The latter is what sells this time of year and their cod is caught north of the Arctic Circle. The bone and skin's all removed, and they go through a sanitary drying process where in a matter of two or three weeks, they just remove all the moisture out. The fillets then sit in a bucket of water for days before they're put in lime, where they actually expand. You know, a pound of that dried fish is gonna turn into eight pounds of lutefisk. Amazing what a little lye can do. A little lye, a lot of water. Justin Reese and his crew take it from there. Cutting it into three, maybe four pieces of fish. They cut and then package the fish. At this point, it's made the transformation from cod to lutefisk. From there, it's likely going to a Lutheran church near you. That's their biggest clientele. Mount Olivet in Minneapolis holds a lutefisk dinner every year. Before COVID, there were years where they served up to 1,200 pounds of lutefisk with butter or cream sauce. Do you eat it when you're not working with it? Uh, yes. You I do? do? Oh, yes. This is the time of year. It's go time. Yeah. Olson is here to prove that lutefisk gets a bad rap. Here we go. Yep. Diving right in. My life's about to change. Cheers. Or oofta. What do you say? Oofta. Oofta. Skull. 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 There you go. <laughs> Skull. With butter and bacon, all it's really missing is a booth at the state fair. That's good. Yeah. I'm not surprised, though. Yeah. It's, uh, it is. It's excellent. That's exactly what Chris has been trying to tell people his entire career. After 26 years, I can't imagine doing anything else. Lutefisk, it'll be around for a long time. In Minneapolis, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Olson says lutefisk tastes great baked or broiled, and as you saw, they often use toppings like bacon, butter, or cream sauce to add some flavor. For more information on where you can find their lutefisk, we put a link at wccocom links. Hmm. The next weather